All Home California um, is, is attacking that uh, from that strategy, from that plan. And I'd like to ask Gail Gilman uh, to discuss some of the innovative regional strategies that, that are being pursued by your organization to, to serve this Bay Area. Could you please share a bit? Oh, thank you so much. And first of all, I want to just um, thank Salvation Army for having All Home be here today. Salvation Army is a partner in what I'm just going to discuss. And also, um, Jason in the governor's office, they've been with us day one, realizing that while it's actualized at the local level, we need to be all acting regionally, particularly in the Bay, um, LA metro area, and other areas to really combat this. So I just wanted to thank um, both those partnerships um, before I answer that question. Um, all Home California works in the nine Bay Area counties to combat homelessness and to assist people who are extremely low income with housing security and economic mobility. Um, and just before I answer the question, just to level set what we're talking about, this is pre-pandemic. In the Bay, there were 800,000 people living on under $37,000 a year, and only 7% of them were experiencing homelessness. So the others, individuals living in extreme poverty um, are living in the Bay, 41% of them were employed, another 37% were seniors living on Social Security to give you a snapshot. So um, All Home is very concerned about individuals now experiencing homelessness, but we're also concerned about the crescendo that we think is going to happen of new folks entering um, homelessness around the Bay. Um, All Home um, launched a regional impact council. Um, Mayor Breed was one of the first was one of the three big city mayors to sit on that, along with many other people. Um, and San Francisco, along with San Mateo County, Contra Costa, um, Napa, and Santa Clara, and we will get the, um, Solano and Marin are coming along, and Sonoma, um, have pledged to reduce unsheltered homelessness by 75% by the end of 2024. Um, and we're doing this with a regional approach, all sort of swimming together, acting together. And the work of the governor's office and the unprecedented resources that he has committed um, to homelessness um, over a two-year budget cycle to give certainty to cities and counties of what they'll receive um, is the game changer. So we are calling for um, what's called interim housing, which is a fancy, fancy word for what we used to call transitional housing and non-congregate shelter. Um, and we're looking to do that across the Bay um, in every jurisdiction, um, mostly by using um, modular pop-up construction, tiny homes to give individuals that respite off the streets that Jason spoke about. If during the pandemic, the region could bring in close to 6,000 individuals who are either in congregate shelter or on the streets, we can act as a region and act with urgency mm -hmm. to do it together, and it's key. <clears throat> San Francisco cannot do this alone. If San Mateo, yeah, right. Alameda, um, Marin, and others don't do it in lockstep, we're not going to really solve this crisis. I don't need a passport to go from San Mateo um, to San Francisco. And even during the shelter and home, I actually ventured out over the Golden Gate Bridge, and um, I had to go do something. And I brought, I brought, no, I was an essential worker. I brought my badge. Um, I brought everything I needed to do. But I actually thought there'd be like military people at the Golden Gate Bridge checking all that. So um, my point is, people travel. People have things they need to do, um, and we need to we need to combat this together. Um, and I will say, I just want to dovetail on one thing Jason said um, that I really want to elevate is. It needs to be actualized at the local level. Mm -hmm. um, All Home is here to help with that. But I will just say, I've been in this space for almost 30 years. I used to run Community Housing Partnership, which was one of the largest providers of supportive housing in the city. I was here when this building was being built. I remember mm -hmm. the struggle Salvation Army went in to site this building. Um, the, I really want to help the homeless, but not on my street corner. We are hearing from everyone in the nine Bay Area counties, it is at a fever pitch. It is the actual worst that it has ever been. Santa Clara just rejected a home key application. They voted, they voted it down for at their, family housing. for family housing, for homeless, their, families. for homeless family, their city council voted it down because they want to help the homeless but not here. So I really yeah. want to urge all of you and Salvation Army to yeah. activate your networks to um, to speak up, to um, you know, to join a collective. Um, All Home might be launching a collective advocacy campaign across the Bay because we need folks like you to really say that we want our brothers and sisters um, 
who are experiencing homelessness to be indoors and be in our community. Um, close to 75% of individuals who are on our streets were housed in the communities they were living before they became homeless. Wow. And they don't want to move. Um, you know, folks don't want to go to the Napa State Hospital if their whole community is in Redwood City. So mm. we really need to do this collectively and together. Thank you, Gail.